Hello friends, welcome to bsptraining.com. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you one of the important case study called product promotion cost analytics. This is my this is a case study from my, one of my project. I try to make it simple for the easy to understand for the beginners. So before we understand, uh, we prepare the case study. We I would like to show you the requirement so that we can go step by step. So this is my requirement. We will continue to use our sales order processing model. In this case study, my, my business user would like to find out the cost analytics, promotion cost analytics across different products. We have a list of queries which are going to solve step by step. So business user users like to analyze the cost spending on different kinds of promotion across different products. So well, let's understand each query step by step and start solving it. The first is, what are the different promotion channels available? What different promotion channels are being used by the business? What is the promotion cost associated with each promotion channel? What is the promotional cost? We would like to see promotional cost by numbers, also by in terms of percentage, so it so that it is become easy to analyze. Okay. We would also like to see the promotion cost across different product categories. First we'll find out the promotion cost and then you find out the promotion cost for each category step by step. And then I like to identify the products where my promotion cost is more than average promotion cost. So this way we identify for what are the products or product category where we are spending more money in promotions. So in order to solve this problem we'll continue to use our sales order processing model. So I'll be using my virtual machine, the one which we prepared in the previous cases, previous class and I connect to my database. Uh, Oracle is my database and my Oracle store into my local system so I go give local host though you will specify IP address of the server or server name, SID, ORC is my SID and my default port is 1521. Then I specify credential over here. Credential I am not going to show you, so hide them. Once you uh, define your, specify your credential, you will have a list of all the dimension and facts over here. So data model we are going to use is the same data model which I explained in the previous class. So we are going to use this data model. You have seen this model, I have got two fact tables, sales fact and cost, uh, cost, fact cost and fact sales, there are two fact tables and then I have got dimension product, time, channel, promotion, these are my dimension. I am going to bring data from my promotion, product and my sales. Right. So let's create a fact. First we drag and drop my fact table, sales, then I continue to drag and drop my dimension. So I need product, promotions, uh, my channels, distribution channel, different customer and country. So we don't have to care about the dimension, I mean joining type, Tableau automatically read them according to the primary key and foreign key it find under in a given metadata file on a table. Okay. So without bothering about data model we directly jump to the query and start answering question one by one. So my first question is pretty simple. I like to identify uh, what are the different promotion channels are available and what is the cost associated with each promotion channel, promotion cost. So I just need to drag and drop my promotion category and the cost associated with promotion. So you see promotion category is a dimension of string type ABC and promotion cost is my major or fact and drag and drop over here. I see no promotion has got no cost associated so I right click and remove this, exclude it. I also like to see the grand total over here. So I could see the total cost we are spending on all promotions. So go to analysis total and I use a column grand total. Numbers are okay but I like to see them in percentage so that it becomes easy to understand. That is exactly the fourth, third requirement. The business user like to see the promotion cost percentage so that it becomes easy to understand and analyze. So I'll include promotion cost once again and this time I use a table calculation in order to find the promotion cost percentage. So I use table calculation and I like to find out percentage of grand total. So total, this is grand total, uh, promotion cost 
of individual promotion category divided by grand total. So I get percentage of total apply. So I get over here percentage, promotion percentage and promotion cost. Now this makes sense to me. It looking meaningful. So up to point one, two and three we have solved. Right. Now let's see the fourth requirement. So point requirement number first, first, second and third we solved it. Fourth requirement, we would like to see the promotion cost across different promotion category. So we'll break down this promotion cost by each promotion category, sorry product category. So we break down the promotion cost by each product category. Okay. Let's see this the same information to be presented in multiple ways. The easy way, you drag and drop product category and place into your column section. So it'll break, it'll break down by different columns. I could see over here my promotion cost across different product category, peripherals, internet, the different categories we have. I erase this. Electronic hardware, peripherals, photos. I could also display this, uh, the nesting of rows. So promotion cost and product category. So do you see over here total cost span across all promotion category. I would like to see the promotion cost spanning on each product category. Sorry, for each promotion type I like to see the cost. It means I like to find out some of this, percentage of this. The money we are spending on each promotion category across all product. So in simple word I like to see the subtotal over here. So first I see subtotal, all subtotal and then I like to see this, this should be calculating only for individual promotion category. So I simply change the scope of promotion category uh, in the table calculation. You can edit this and right now you calculate it for entire table. I like to confine this calculation only for specific promotion category. This is called pain. This is called pain. Subcategory of your table, subdivision of your table. See this? When you look at the number, you find it easy to understand. So now the calculation is taking place only for individual promotion category rather than for across all promotion category. This looks meaningful to me. I like to take a duplicate of this. Looking at number it becomes little difficult but if you present the same information in charts it becomes easy to understand. So I use a uh, another kind of chart that is called side by side chart or bar chart. Okay. Side by side bars click on this but doesn't look very meaningful to me. Okay, so what I do first I remove I'll keep only promotion cost percentage not promotion cost. So this makes sense. Right? Let me display the numbers without number the bars are not looking very good. So I put the numbers I drag and drop put on the label. I could see the percentage over here. So I see for different promotion channel the promotion cost for different product category. Right? I like to calculate for individual promotion channel, right, for individual promotion channel. So again, I change the scope of this. Right now, percentage of total, I see percentage of pain. So now, you see, uh, are we calculating correctly? Let me do it once again. Okay, I'll do it once again. I'll add a promotion cost in my label. But these are numbers. I like to display them in terms of percentage. So add a table calculation, table calculation, percentage of total, percentage of total across entire table, it is across entire table or only the individual pane, I use a pane. So now I see the, the money company is spending on different promotion channels across different product. If you see the grand total of first pane, you find it's a hundred percent. Now last analysis is also interesting and, and important. The business like to see those product where promotion cost is more than above above average promotion cost. I like to figure out, highlight those product category where promotion cost is above average. Right? So there are multiple ways of doing it. I use the simplest way. I draw a line over here which will talk about the promotion cost. The list of products where promotion cost is above average promotion cost. Pretty simple. Right click and add a reference line. So I like to see the average, promotion cost average, and I display this with a dark, uh, you can choose your color, I use a dark red color, and define your computation. 
across each pane so for I see there is a line I see this is a line so how do you interpret this for promotion channel internet across all product I see peripheral and accessories and software the cost promotion cost is much more than average cost right you can also display when you're displaying this you can also display numbers sorry you can also display numbers because you may not be knowing uh, you like to display number as well there's an option to display number as well display value so I see the percentage the average is 20 percent okay. 33 percent 20 percent over here so I see across different promotion channel what are the product what are the product and promotion cost and what are the product where promotion cost is more than the average promotion cost right this is such an interesting analysis I stop over here subscribe to my youtube channel in a subsequent video we will create more interesting example and I show you how to do advanced data analytics subscribe to youtube channel to access more video Thank you and have a great day ahead.